Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel with another reaction video. Today I'm gonna react the example of the mosquito. Um, I know that it's written in the Quran about the mosquito because this is evidence that I had to show to other people about Islam, about the Quran. And yeah, so, but <laughs> let's see this video. I always like to see everything doesn't matter what if it doesn't matter if i know this information already i always learn and we always learn about everything and more in details and it doesn't matter something else another example or whatever okay so but before we start don't forget to subscribe and also like and leave a comment if you would love to and let's go to see bismina <laughs> Allah is not ashamed to present a mosquito as an example or anything that is above it. As for those who believe, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. But as for those who disbelieve, they say what did Allah intend by this example? Hmm. The Quran, chapter 2, yeah. verse 26. True. The first question that comes to mind is what does Allah mean when using a mosquito as an example? Essentially, Allah is saying that even a fly is enough to demonstrate his existence. At first glance, you might be thinking, how? But by doing some reflection, it will hopefully make a lot more sense. Let's consider that this verse came down 1,400 years ago to a tribe in the middle of a desert. It is only in the last 200 years that science has made huge progress and knowledge has increased like never before. What we once thought was an insignificant little fly has actually proved to be a phenomenal species full of complexities. Here are some facts that we have come to know. The mosquito egg is always laid in water. As the mother lays her eggs, she sticks them together into an array to form a raft structure to stop them from sinking. From there, the eggs turn into larvae that swim around upside down on the surface of the water whilst breathing through a tube, a bit like a snorkel. The larvae then turn into pupae and then break out as adults with the ability to fly instantly. Subhanallah! Subhanallah! How this is possible? So, I don't know, like people, come on, come on. The ones who say there is no, there is no creator. So what is this? We all like all the time I talk about uh, human, human body, blah 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 blah. But it can be from I don't know where that it created. It came from I don't know what. But come on, all these evidences, all these proofs, all these things. And you don't believe there is a creator? I'm sorry. Why she do all of this, the mosquito? And then they are like, it's perfect. It's so perfect. Why she don't put it outside of the water? Why she, I don't know, she go to a tree and she put it there. The eggs. <laughs> Why? Why every mosquito they do this? And they grow like that, the mosquitoes, and they, they, this is, I'm sorry, this is unbelievable. This small insect that has hatched is currently the deadliest animal in the world. Ever wondered why they have extremely fast reflexes? Well, that's because the mosquito has a pair of compound eyes. Each compound eye is made up of hundreds of mini eyes called lenses that curve around. Each lens takes an image at a different angle which its brain processes. For this reason, the mosquito can see almost everything happening around it at any given time without having to turn around. Physicists have been fascinated by this 
and have been trying to copy this system to develop self-driving cars, drones and safety cameras to say the least. The mosquito uses carbon dioxide sensors to detect your breath from up to 50 meters away. What? Once it finds its way into your room, it detects heat from your body to land exactly where it will start to suck your blood. This is how they see you in the dark when you are asleep. Amazingly, the mosquito uses six needles to suck blood in a highly sophisticated manner. But I always say to my my husband because I all the time there is one mosquito in the entire house. Me, I am the one that she come to me. She come to me. I am really special for them. <laughs> so, but with six, no, no, no. Oh no 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 no! Oh my God. First. It removes a protective layer to expose the needles. Then it uses the sharp teeth on the outside two needles to drill through your skin, like a saw. The two inner needles hold the cut open whilst the middle two probe around to find the blood vessel. Once the blood vessel is found, one of the probe needles spits chemicals to numb the pain and help your blood to flow. The other probe needle acts like a straw and starts sucking your blood. As it sucks, its body separates the water and squeezes it out of its back to pack in as many nutrients as possible. Sounds like a surgical operation, right? This is an image of the mosquito's foot. It is made up of a complex array of features that protect it and allow it to land on many different surfaces such as water to feed its eggs. As for its wings, the mosquito flaps them about 1,000 times every single second to help it fly. It is clear that this tiny creature we can barely see with the naked eye is packed with many efficient systems allowing it to function and breed. Let's now refer back to the verse in the Quran. After Allah presents the example of a mosquito, he then says, and what is above it? The Arabic used for this, fama fulqaha, linguistically has many meanings, including what is above it physically and what is above it in size. Guess what? All definitions apply. In terms of size, well, we don't have to look too far into nature to see that a mosquito is nothing compared to what is out there. The universe is so complex, yet so perfect, that it is beyond human comprehension. What about above it physically? Well, scientists have discovered that some mosquitoes have tiny larval water mites that live above them as parasites. Mm -hmm. Allah continues the verse and says, As for those who believe, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. See, as Muslims, we believe that everything around us screams the existence of a creator. In fact, when we are asked for proof, we respond by asking where the proof isn't, even if it is just a fly. Allah then says, but as for those who disbelieve, they say, what did Allah intend by this example? Isn't this the case? Wouldn't the disbeliever so credit all of this to anything so, other than a creator, so such true. as evolution or chance? So Wouldn't true. the disbeliever still consider the mosquito insignificant and unimpressive? The reality is, we are all so used to the world around us. Come on, by chance. Come on. Yeah, it's made by chance. It's, a, it's by chance. It's by chance. It's like by chance. Or evolution, but I don't know. By chance is more logical. We are so used to how... Because you don't need to give no... No excuse or no explanation for it. So, by chance, let's go a little bit back. Mosquito insignificant and unimpressive? Mm -hmm. The reality is, we are all so used to the world around us. We are so used to how perfect nature is and how perfectly its laws allow us to sustain life. So true. The fact of the matter is, if all of humanity gathered together, we couldn't create a single fly. 
And if we gathered all of our knowledge, it wouldn't even be a small fraction of what we still don't know. Yet some of us sadly believe that we have enough wisdom and intelligence to deny there is a creator as a possibility, just because it doesn't make sense. Think about this. To copy just one of the systems in a mosquito, we need years of research and teams of scientists around the world to produce something half as good. Yet the mosquito is lighter than a feather, can hardly be seen, and is jam-packed full of systems and sensors that allow it to live. And remember, the mosquito is only one of millions of different species that are on planet Earth alone, each one having unique characteristics. Isn't this verse so incredibly profound? example of the mosquito really it's so complicated so unbelievable and this is one of the creatures like we, we don't know nothing really we don't know nothing alhamdulillah for this for all this all everything what we can what we can Unbelievable, really unbelievable. So, but yeah, if you like this video, just give a thumb up and leave a comment if you would love to, and also subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video, inshallah. Ma'asalamah.